Carrie. I, oh, uh, oh, sexy lady. I would like to know. Who's your husband? Oh, madam? Many times. Oh, I mean, no, no, no. What's the difference between a wife and a girlfriend? That's even easier. The difference between a wife and a girlfriend is a 45 pounds. <laughs> Five hey, I don't write at this stuff. I just find this on at the computer. Okay. We got one more question here. Up oh, there, we got a question in the back behind the building. Colonel Sanders. Doctor, I have a terrible pain in my leg. What can I do about it? Is it very bad? Walk it to me. Walk. Keep it. Still hurt? No. Yeah, 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 come on, keep it. Okay, now, stop. When you walk back in that way, I want you to walk like in this, limp, limp. Okay. How's that feel? I said, you got a pain in your leg, you got to remember to limp. If you're on a limp, it's going to hurt. Understand? Okay. We got to get serious here. We're fooling around a little bit too much. <laughs> Do you remember, last year, we had a team of surgeons that come over from the University of Bologna, and one of our seniors who's been missing in action for a very long time, he was having bad problems with his back. You remember Mike Stumbo? Oh, yeah. uh, Mike Stumbo, I had an operation, and so you got to keep an eye on these doctors for he's a very bad back, and he winds up having a sexy change. <laughs> I feel so bad for his poor wife, Jenny, over here. She's been all by herself one a year. She just to find out he got a pregnant. <laughs> I can't have made this stuff up. He got it pregnant, and he had the baby. He did the right thing. He had the baby. It turns out he have a twins. Twins. And the Mike Stumbo, who now likes it to be called Michelle Stumbo, came back today. He flew over on all Italia Airlines into my uncle's airport here in New York, Fiorello LaGuardia. This is my uncle. And, what are you heckling me? I can't believe I'm getting heckled here. But I brought the Michelle Stumbo here with me today. So I want everybody, he doesn't feel very uncomfortable. Don't make him feel uncomfortable. But uh, doctor, here, doctor, doctor. I know, I know. Doctor. Yes. He's a little shy. Um, you want this is a very, very, this is a very difficult for him. Uh, how about if we all give him a, like a welcome? Let's try to get him to come out. Let's hear from Michelle Stumbo. Where's my Michelle? Oh, Michelle. <laughs> Got two babies. You see what the babies are doing? <laughs> and he's a got a boy and he's a got a girl. girl. Let me see. <laughs> yeah? Okay, you're a little low. You got 
<laughs> you just do a little. I got you excited. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't take it this guy much. No wonder it's a sex operation. He's a pregnant in two weeks. Okay. You like it, man. You seem so bad to yourself. Okay. Now, I know I brought you here, and I don't know it's time to make it the people here a little bit uncomfortable. Because if we're going to get to the bottom of something, Mike and Michelle are here, came here to look for the father. Now, now he told me when he looked around the room, it could have been anyone, about 20 people. But I think he's going to go by the one man here that he was with the most. So, Micah, I want you to take a good look around the room. Okay, we don't got enough DNA here. Okay? We'll talk about the DNA later. I want you to find the man who you think owes you one year child of support for these two beautiful babies that you had. I'll give you like one minute to look around the room. Go ahead. Uh, 